Hi everyone, it's Dr. Sahar Rokad here and today I thought I'd give you an update on my biohacking. So if you are a regular follower of this video blog, then a few months ago I did a blog about three things I was implementing into my lifestyle to see if it was going to have a positive impact on my health. And the three things was a sauna blanket, an uh, infrared sauna blanket, continuous blood glucose monitoring, and a device called Sensate. So in terms of the glucose monitoring, I've done it for three blocks now. I'm actually wearing a monitor at the moment. You can't see because I'm wearing a long sleeve jumper. And um, each time I've learned something different. So the first time I did it was just to get some general information about my blood sugars and what they were doing according to what I was eating and drinking. And it was interesting, but I wasn't really following any particular sort of diet or trying to make any particular changes. Um, I thought I'd just show you, I wear a Freestyle Libra and this is the, um, the device I use to monitor it. So I would turn my monitor on and it'll say to scan the sensor. You can scan it through your clothes, which is great. So I'll do that and I'll show you now my glucose is 4.6, which is pretty good. I've just finished dinner, in fact, so that's not too bad at all. So I have learned certain things. You know, I do a lot of intermittent fasting and that tends to keep my blood sugar fa fairly stable at that time. Now, I found being very tired actually pushes up my bl blood sugar. So that's interesting for me to know. Fasted fruit can push up my blood sugar as much as some chocolate and actually what I was finding with things like chocolate or fatty foods you know say fish and chips or something is that it would push push my sugar up initially but then I'd get a hypo a low blood sugar quite soon after and of course that's going to cause fluctuations in your mood and your energy so that was very helpful for, for me to know Currently at the moment, why I'm wearing the monitor is that I'm doing a, um, a modified keto diet for women. Um, so that involves having mainly 70% fats, protein, and then getting your carbohydrates from vegetables. Uh, so having, you know, big salads with my meals with, you know, oil dressings on or mayonnaise and uh, having a lot of broccoli, cruciferous vegetables, help the detox process. Um, and I've actually found my blood sugar's really, really steady with that, like always four point something. But actually the problem is I was getting a lot of hypos. I was, blood sugar's in the threes a lot and I could feel myself feeling agitated. It would affect my sleep as well. So I've actually found that I actually need a little bit more carbohydrate, especially in the evening so that I can sleep. Of course, it's great to know that having a almost sugar-free diet is really suiting my body. Now, of course, it's only been a week. Anyone can do anything for a week, so I'm going to do it for longer and then feed back uh, on my results. And the reason I'm doing it is because Dr. Sarah Gottfried, who's an American doctor, um, a hormone specialist, has written a book about hormones and how this modified keto diet can really regulate your hormones. So I thought it would be a great thing for me to do I'm not into telling people to do things if I haven't tried it myself. And then obviously I can give you more tailored advice on it. So that's my blood glucose monitoring. That's going really well. And I've done another video on how you put in the monitor where I look like a complete wimp. So please excuse me. I'm very good at taking your guys' blood. Not so good with doing anything injectable myself. Um, so I will keep you posted on how the keto diet's going. Um, in terms of the infrared sauna blanket, so I use this about twice a week. I could use it more often. And generally, I find it good, restful, um, restorative. Now, I do only use it for about 20 minutes to 30 minutes because I just can't tolerate it for any longer. I generally do it in the evening. And I can't say I found a huge improvement in things like my mood or my energy or my sleep. But I do so many other things in those areas. It is quite hard to tell. I generally use it because I believe detox is good for your body. It's good for your lymphatics. It's good for your health in general. So that's why I do it. And I'm going to continue to make it part of my routine. And I do, um, yeah, something I enjoy. I find it relaxing. So anything we can do that's good for our health that's also relaxing is a good thing. Uh, the last thing is the Sensate. So the Sensate is a device that looks like this. Actually, mine needs charging, so I can't put it on at the moment to show you because it's dead. Um, but basically, um, you use it, you put it here 
on your breastbone. And if you're sitting up like I am, you can use this uh, around your neck to make it tight so it sits there. But if you're lying down, obviously you don't always need that. It links to an app on your phone and then you play the music, you set it for the amount of time and the music you want, there's choices. And you could do 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, and it, it just gently sort of vibrates in rhythms here on the breastbone. And it works to calm down your vagus nerve and then to help your uh, parasympathetic nervous system. Now, out of the three things I've told you about, this is the thing I'm finding the most helpful. I do it nearly every morning, as soon as I wake up while I'm still in bed, before I leap out of bed with energy. And I do it as I'm winding down in the evening to get me to sleep quicker. Because I think, as I've mentioned a lot, sleep is a big issue for me. There's many things I do for my sleep, which I'll go into in another video. Um, and I find this really relaxing, really helpful. I do try to meditate, but it is something I struggle with. Um, so again, this is a way of getting you your body to relax and calm down the, the nervous system. So this, I highly recommend, the Sensate. I recommend all of them, to be honest. Um, the glucose monitoring is very interesting. I think everyone should do it at least once to get an idea of what's going on with their blood sugars. Um, what I would say about the ketos, I know it's only been a week, but because I'm having a lot less sugar, I'm getting a lot less highs and lows and crashes. And generally, you know, like normally two or three o'clock, you get that sort of slump in the middle of the day. I'm not getting that. So, I mean, that's worth its weight in gold, right? Uh, so I hope you found that helpful and informative. And if you've got any questions, uh, just message me or put it in the comments below. And uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it if these are things you've tried yourself. Take care, speak soon. Bye.